Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm going to be working on a gateway computer. If you're seeing a media test failure, check your cables error during startup, I'll show you how to fix that in this video. So one quick reminder about these troubleshooting steps that I'm going to show you. The order that I show them to you in may not be the exact order you want to do them for your situation. So just use some common sense on what may have just happened, what the likely issue could be. For example, if you just dropped your computer, check whether the hard drive is secure first. Don't go into BIOS. Or if your operating system just gave you a failed Windows update and then you had this problem, check out BIOS, check out the operating system. Don't open your computer and, and go check your hard drive first. You know what I mean? So, so use some common sense, try to figure out what it could be, start there first, and use the troubleshooting steps that I show you in the right order for you. Okay, so power down your computer, make sure it's off. I'm not sure where you are in your whole startup issue, but if you can't power down your computer the right way, press and hold your power button for up to a minute. That'll force shut down the computer, and I'll show you how to get into BIOS. Now with most gateways, guys, you're gonna hit your power button and then start tapping on the delete key to get into BIOS. That will be your BIOS key. For some of you, it'll be the F1, F2 function keys. If not, some of you, it'll be the escape key, but they like moving it around. Um, if you can't find your BIOS key, just go down through the function keys, try to find it. So I'm gonna hit my power button and start tapping on the delete key right away, over and over, and that gets me into my BIOS. So the first thing we can check here is our system date, system time settings. Make sure that your system time and system date settings are correct for where you are. Believe it or not, if these time and date settings are wrong, it could affect how BIOS loads which could then prevent Windows from loading accurately. So every BIOS is different. Use your arrow keys or your tab keys. Some of you may have the use of your mouse in BIOS, but navigate over to them. Like I can use my enter key and I can move between those fields and then use my up and down arrow key to move between time and date, but change those values so it's accurate for where you are. Then you're gonna wanna save and exit. I have a key here. So save and exit for me would be F4. You may have a key like this or yours may be on the bottom, but find out what key yours is for save and exit and then restart your computer that way. If this fixed your problem, guys, great. It could have just been a one-time error. They do happen. However, if your date and time continues to be wrong every time you start the computer, that could be a sign that your CMOS battery is bad and needs to be replaced. That's a little battery on your motherboard that's supposed to keep power to BIOS even when your computer's off. So if you have to replace that, I'll have a video link up top also below in the description showing you how to get inside a computer and access that component. If you need help with your specific model getting inside, leave me a comment, let me know what's going on, and leave me your make and model number and I can help you out. If that doesn't fix your problem, but the date and time stays correct, the next time you try starting up, we've ruled that out. Let's move on to the next thing in BIOS that I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna use my arrow keys and go over to the boot tab. But again, not all BIOS is the same. You may have to look around your BIOS to find where this is located if you don't have a boot tab. But when you see down here where it says fixed boot order, again, yours may say something slightly different, but my first option in my boot order is my hard disk or my hard drive. Wherever your operating system is stored, that's what you want first on that list. If you have more than one hard drive, you want the hard drive listed first that has your operating system on it. If you see anything else here, an external device or something like that, that could be messing up why your computer's not booting because it's going there to find an operating system instead of your hard disk or your hard drive. So make sure that your first option on your boot order is the hard drive or solid state drive that has your operating system on it. If you need to change that, after you change it, same thing, save and exit, restart the computer. So if you tried those options and it didn't help the situation, or if you were unable to find those options to try them, we'll move on and continue troubleshooting. At this point, I would scan the hard drive with diagnostic software that I have in my shop to see if the hard drive is healthy. 
You don't have that software most likely, and Gateway doesn't come with it preloaded. So that's not an option for you. So in order to test for the hard drive, we're gonna have to try trial and error on a few steps. And this step specifically applies to you guys that may have dropped your computer or hit it, or the hard drive may be loose or have been damaged. We're gonna try to reseat the hard drive. That's where we go into the computer, unplug the hard drive, plug it back in, make sure that it's secure, and reset that connection. I will have a video link up top, also below in the description, showing you how to get into a computer to do that. But again, if you need help with your specific model on how to get inside, leave me a comment, tell me what's going on, and then leave me your brand and model of your computer and I can help you access your hard drive. If that doesn't help, there's only two more troubleshooting steps that I can recommend in this video, and one of them is trying to reinstall your operating system. I'll have video links below in the description on how to reinstall Windows 10 and how to reinstall Windows 11 on your computer. You can do it by making your own install media or you can purchase it and I'll have links for that below where you can purchase it but before trying to reinstall the operating system there's one more thing we can try in BIOS so I'm gonna arrow over one tab to my advanced tab and I'm gonna go all the way down to where it says CSM configuration I'm gonna hit enter to select that option and I see this as CSM support is disabled and as you can see here, this is the screen where I can enable or disable, I can toggle back and forth between that CSM support. So this step can be a little tricky. I'll try to explain it well. Basically, you have two options on this section of your BIOS. Your operating system can load in legacy mode or it can load in UEFI, also known as CSM mode. You're gonna be set to one or the other. You're gonna be set to legacy or you're gonna be set to UEFI or CSM you're gonna to try to change it from whatever it is to whatever it is not. So if you guys see that your operating system is loading up in legacy mode, you're going to change that to UEFI or CSM mode and try starting the computer. If you see that your computer is like mine and it's set to UEFI or CSM mode, you're gonna to try to change it to legacy. So again, I hope I explained that well. Whatever it is, you're gonna change it to whatever it's not. If you see an error message when trying to do this, that some sort of PTT security is stopping you from doing it, look around BIOS, try to find your security tab, and usually in there, there'll be an option to disable that PTT security. However, if you see any other error messages, like this isn't allowed on your computer, the operating system cannot load in another mode, then that's not an option for you. In either case, after this troubleshooting step, the only thing left is to reinstall Windows. As I mentioned earlier, there will be links below showing you how to reinstall Windows 10 and 11. You can do that by creating your own install media for free, or you can purchase install media either way. If you guys are not concerned with saving data on your computer, then the install won't be a problem. However, if you wanna save the data on your computer, there usually will be options during the install to save your data, but keep in mind with a new install, especially if you're not used to doing it, there's always a chance of losing data. So if you want help recovering data from your hard drive, let me know, and depending on your, on your situation, I may be able to help you out. But that is the video, that's the full complete troubleshooting process that I use in my shop, with the exception of the diagnostic software that again, most likely you don't have. If you have any questions, guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you do need to leave me a question or comment, I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.